everyone. Welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition. Uh, and fuck, it was only after I uh, finished the, everything and uploaded it that the last video was short. So, sorry about that. Cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I'll handle it. Navigation is becoming increasingly difficult due to the number of refugee ships in the docking area. Yeah, I'm not that surprised. Shepard, if you're feeling up to it, I thought we could do something fun for a change. Shepard, glad you came. What'd you have in mind? Something that doesn't involve fighting Reapers. You know, I, uh... I wouldn't miss it, Garrus. Not my brother. I don't think they've conquered the bar yet. I already scoped it out. But then I thought, if this was my last day alive... I'd actually like to remember it. So? So, I had an idea. Where are we going? Somewhere we're not supposed to. <laughs> Some things never change, do they? Ever have that one <laughs> thing you always wanted to do before you died, Shepard? Too busy trying to live. What's yours? The whole time I worked at CSEC, I'd stare up at the top of the Presidium and say to myself, I want to go up there. But I never did. There were 137 regulations telling me I couldn't. So you got them changed? No. Now I just don't give a damn. <laughs> I figured it's time to do something stupid just for the hell of it. Might be the last chance we ever get. Yeah, it might. A little busier than I imagined. How about a dive in the pool? Uh, you obviously haven't seen Turian swim. It's a lot of flailing and splashing interrupted by occasional bouts of drowning. You're right. I just have to save your ass again. <laughs> Did make up for all the times I pulled your ass out of the fire. Novaria, Pharos, Ilos. We've had a hell of a ride, haven't we, Shepard? Times like these, you know who your real friends are. They're not the ones running around looking for an escape route. No. They're, they're the ones who stand at your side through the worst of it. Who never give up on you. I'm lucky I can say I know someone like that. Yeah. So am I. I think that ride's been rough on you, Garrus. You've got a new scar every time I see you. Losing a step there in your old age? <laughs> Raise your hand if you haven't been killed before. Bastard. Touché. <laughs> now, before we head back, there is one thing we're going to settle. Once and for all. I'm not saying you don't know how to handle a gun, just saying some of us know how to make it dance. Really, Gary? So, let's find out who's really the best shot. There are a few people in the galaxy who've seen me in action, Garrus. They seemed impressed. Yeah. Yeah, but I've actually seen you dance, Shepard. No comment. 
Oh, fuck All right, you. Peter, Come on. Let's do it there. now. Come on. Worry, I loaded it with practice lugs for when you miss. That was an easy one. Let you build up your confidence. Long range, I wrote the book. Nobody alive can do this, not even Commander Shepard. Give me a tough one. I said a tough one. Step aside. Do it. Nobody alive, maybe. But technically, I died. <laughs> yeah, well, next time we'll throw in a herd of rampaging clicks, and that's how you separate the rookies from the pros. <laughs> <laughs> This area is off limits. You're trespassing in an official Citadel zone. So, do we give a damn about regulations now? Hell no. How about a high-speed chase before we die? Let's do it! That's added in fire mod. Ah. <sighs> Gares and Shepard. One of the best bromances in, uh, in video games. Okay, holding area. Okay, yeah, go down there. Okay. Memorial Hospital. Purgatory. And commons. Okay. So, yeah. Shepard, thanks for coming. I wanted to be here for you, Ash. It's tough to see her go through this. Damn it. There I go again. I hope Sarah can find some peace here. I'm glad I can be here for her. She wanted me to say something about her family. Wanted Thomas to hear it. You need to be strong for Sarah now. You're right. I'm so proud of her. She's no career soldier, but there she is, coping with all this. Reminds me of Dad. Whatever was going on, he put a smile on his face for us. Your family made you what you are. Yeah. He did his best with four daughters and a strong wife. He always said, live fire exercises was good prep for facing his girly horde. Your sister is waiting. You'll be fine. Right. Here we go. Okay. Remember the trip to the beach the summer before I left for basic training? Abby was grumbling, missing some big party, remember? And Lynn had a new dress. She, she was so pretty. I always felt like an elephant next to her. It was a beautiful sunny day, but we were fighting about stupid stuff, being kids. Remember when mom came up and hugged us all? A big, fierce hug. She said, this is one of the good days. Something you'll remember. She was right. I love you guys. Anyway, that's all I've got to say. Thanks for listening. Okay. 
I'll meet you back aboard the Normandy. Of course. Take your time. I've been wondering about uh, slight stuttering visually. Uh, that's not your thing. That's not uh, whatever you're watching this on. That's my. That's the actual game because of all these people. James? Commander, what brings you down here? I was about to ask you that. Yeah. Well, after our little chat, ow, I made up my mind. I'm going to join the N7 program. And you're celebrating by getting a tattoo? <laughs> sort of. See, there's no official channels to go through right now. So I guess this is my way of making it official. Technically, I'm just an N7 recruit, but, you know, I figure with you as my training <laughs> officer, how could I fail? Wow. Right? I'm flattered, but I wouldn't exactly say I'm training you. Yeah. Not officially, but what the hell is in this goddamn war? I'm just saying, whether you like it or not, you're my direct superior, and you're N7. So I take my lead from you, and you know, I'll take whatever advice you got. Really? Yeah. Sure. The good advice. Yeah. Well, they wouldn't ask you if they didn't think you could handle it. Well, Here's hoping. But the real work starts now. Uh-huh. I know it seems like I don't take things seriously, but when I commit to something, I fully commit. Clearly. <laughs> hey. I won't let you down. The only person you need to prove yourself to is the one standing in the mirror every morning. Good point. You know, that's gonna sting for a few days. You gonna be ready for duty? Well, I'm not looking forward to slapping my armor back on, but I'm always ready. Glad yeah, to hear it. So. Ah! Careful! Holding the Batarian tab looks familiar. I don't know what. I heard about the horrible things Cerberus did during the coup. That's not the organization I joined. I didn't really like throwing them. I had, but I had no goddamn choice. Look at Tori. I was just about to get us another round. So, looks like you two are having fun. Yes. Yeah. Joker has been smiling and laughing at a significantly higher rate since he and I agreed upon a relationship. I mean, he is happier. <laughs> good. It seemed like you two might make a good match. Yeah. I was not so certain. When I first presented his body to Jeff, he seemed a loop. Really? What did Joker say? He said I didn't have to conform to some feminine ideal in order to impress him. I then called him on his bullshit, and we then proceeded to talk normally. After your encouragement, his attitude exhibited signs of change. He said he was reluctant, but you convinced him to go for it. Uh, well... I might have helped a little. I see. Thank you for your support, Shepard. This is proving to be an illuminating experience. I always thought this place would be cool if it didn't involve so much walking. If you're in pain, I could carry you. Pass. You just introduced me as your personal assistance mech. Yeah, well, it was the only way to get you inside. But you know I am not one. 
Why deceive others? You don't really want to introduce yourself as an AI with Reaper-based code. They would lynch you. That would be an inefficient way to render me non-functional. <laughs> yeah. Your turn. Counselor Tabos. Hot, but points off for attitude. Shaira, the consort. Uh, hot, I guess? Can we stop this? You're creeping me out. Dalatras Linron. Ew. Your turn. Oh. Counselor Tabos. Hot, but points off for attitude. Shaira, the consort. It's a weird relationship, but I don't care. Believe it or not, they, they basically are perfect for each other. Jacob Taylor. Hey, Shepard. I'm glad to see you. I know things are crazy right now. Exactly. So you have to take the moments when you can. Yeah. So what's going on with you? You still like what you're doing? Things are good. I'm good. Still not tempted to come back to the Normandy? Always tempted, Shepard. <laughs> <laughs> but no. So, you working on the Crucible? <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I'm smart. But not that smart. Hackett keeps me busy, though. How's he doing? Holding up. If they make old guys any tougher than that, I'd like to see it. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to see it too. What's going on with the Crucible? That project is crazy. Freaking huge. And all these brilliant minds are working night and day trying to figure it out. I wish you could see them. Heads down, piecing it together. It's something to see. We'll get this Crucible built, Shepard. And then, we'll win this thing. I feel it. Do you feel it? Yeah, sure, I feel it. And I'm counting on you and everyone there. Get it done. Believe it. It was interesting to meet Bryn. How is she? She's great, actually. It's good to see her work without the distraction of having to worry about the colony. And you and her? We're... We're having a baby, Shepard. Wow. Wow. Congratulations. Wasn't exactly planned, but I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna be a better father than mine was. Do the whole thing right. It's, uh... <laughs> One more thing to fight for. You got that right. Yeah. Bryn wants to name it after you. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Shepard. Shepard Taylor. That's... nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna talk her out of it. No offense. <laughs> None taken. Good. I'm glad we had time to talk. Me too. Gotta take the moments when you can. So true. And Shepard, thanks again for getting my people out alive. Take care, Jacob. You too, Shepard. I'm thinking about you out there. Stay safe. Thanks. I overheard what you said. I found this at a Cerberus station. A poison tailored to Turians. Let me see. Yes, I think this is it. With these schematics, we should be able to come up with an antidote. Thank you. The general might pull through because of this. Good. Yesterday was the yesterday he yeah, of the day of the day before I recorded this, which would have been Sunday. It was terrible on me and my ashes. I went through an entire damn box of tissues. Welcome to Elkos Combine Thank Arsenal you. Supplies. Come again. Welcome to Kanala we your visit.
take a back. Grissom Academy also fell to the Reapers when Elysium was attacked. And Alliance forces were able to evacuate the college students. I got your message, Miranda. Is this about your sister? Shepard, I need access to Alliance resources. I can't say any more. You'll just have to trust me. I don't like secrets, Miranda. Just tell me what's going on. I can't, Shepard. If that's a problem, I'll go. Don't. No, don't. Sorry. Trust is a little hard to come by right now. Of course. You'll have your access, Miranda. But I don't like the sound of this. I know. And thank you. It means a lot. That's not the only thing you wanted to talk about, is it? That could have been done over a call. No. I need to tell you something. Confess, really. It's been eating away at me. Confess? <sighs> when I headed the Lazarus Project to rebuild you, I wanted to implant a control chip in you as a yeah, safeguard. you mentioned that. I think you mentioned this. I did. Fucking hell. There's more to it. <laughs> The elusive man stopped me. Sounds like it would have saved him a lot of trouble. No shit. Maybe. He didn't want to interfere with who you truly were. Something that just obeyed orders. He wanted Commander Shepard. Well, he got Installing it. Installing the chip might have ruined you. Well, he got it, and now I'm kicking it, gonna kick his ass. I understand why you wanted to. I was a complete unknown. I've never had to deal with that many black boxes on a project. I felt blind. Why bring that up now? I fought against my father and his need to run every aspect of my life. He wanted total control over me, right down to my bloody DNA. After I got out of there, I couldn't stand by and let it happen to my sister. I risked my life to get her away from all that. Yet I didn't give a second thought to destroying your free will when I had the power. This is what's been bothering you? Yes. Miranda, I lost two years of my life. You gave me back the rest of it. You could have changed me in a thousand different ways. But you didn't. I don't know how. But you brought me back. Thanks. And I'm so But grateful. with so much being uncertain, I just wanted you to know I always regretted wanting that chip. You can't keep beating yourself up over the past. I usually don't. But this was important. Some things you just don't have control over. Guess my fancy genetics can't help me there. <laughs> no. No. They can't. Okay. I hate to say it, but I should get moving. Thanks for understanding, Shepard. Of, of course. course. And Miranda. This thing you have to do. Good luck. Don't worry, Shepard. I always have a plan. I'm not that surprised. Sure, you don't want to do something a little more exciting? I love this part of the Presidium. It reminds me of where I grew up. Where's that? Armali, back on Thessia. My mother and I lived beside a park. Benicia. I spent hours there. Doing what? <laughs> Reading, exploring, getting in trouble digging for ruins in the grass. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding. I was very young. Yeah, that's actually pretty cute. No one else thought it was funny. <laughs> oh, the lecture my mother gave me. But she did buy me my first history book the next day. I miss her, Shepard. What was she like? She was confident and kind. She loved to wear yellow. I thought she was the most beautiful woman in the world. <laughs> You'll be okay, Liara. Maybe you're right. Thank you, Shepard. I feel better. 
I wish we could spend more time together like this. Just friends. It'd be nice. And who knows? Maybe you'll settle down after this. You don't really see me going into civilian life, do you? <laughs> no. No. But I guess that's one more reason we should keep in touch. Yeah. Someone to share a few secrets with now and then? You got it. Yeah. Hello, Shepard. Welcome to Nosostra Sporting Thank you for goods. shopping at Nosostra Sporting Goods. Welcome to Casa Thank Fabrication Weaponry. Thank you for shopping weaponry. at Casa Fabrication Weaponry. Her name is Tasha Pore. Of course. P-O-R-A-E. Weshra, I have an audio log for you. For me? Where did this come? Oh, no. Oh, Tasha, thank you for bringing this back. At least I know what happened. I'm sorry. God damn this war. Citadel Tower. Because Javik is there. By default, you're not supposed to come here because I'm pressing F and B, you don't get a map. And so instead, uh, I'll actually wait. Nah, I'll talk to her after this. See, here's Javik. Normally, he's on the Citadel embassies. Hell of a view, isn't it? During our war, this place became a myth to my people. A dream glimpsed only in the memory shards. The Citadel was both the heart of our civilization and its demise. The Reapers hit here first, didn't they? No one I knew had ever seen the Citadel. To be here yeah. now, I don't know what to think. Uh, Vigil, the VI on the, uh, on Islas. Yeah, he mentioned that the Cit, for those that don't remember, uh, the Citadel itself is a massive giant, it's a massive, uh, Mass Relay, one that connects directly to the Reapers in Dark Space. Every time, every cycle, a Vanguard, like Sovereign was, I don't know if it was always Sovereign or if it was just him that time or what, but by the time of, uh, the ho by the time the Harvest is ready, I hate saying that. Um, the Vanguard Reaper would send a signal to the Keepers, forcing them to activate the relay and causing the Reapers to come, to come straight out of the Citadel. That's how the Protheans, that's how the Protheans and every race before got wiped out. But, but, towards the end of the Prothean Reaper War, uh, scientists on Ilos developed the, the, uh, no, not the Crucible, the... Fuck me, what was it called? Give me a minute. 
in it. Conduit. That was it. Protheans on Nylos. The remaining Protheans on Nylos developed the uh, the conduit to uh, as a back door into the Citadel. Once the Reapers left, they used it. It was a prototype. It was like a prototype miniature mass relay. Which looked like a miniature mass relay. Uh, but it was a one way trip, unfortunately. They used it, they developed a way to interfere with the signal, with the uh, Reaper signal to the Keepers, which is why Mass Effect 1 happened the way it happened. Sovereign tried to uh, signal the Keepers to open the relay. Never did because of the Protheans work from the last cycle. It might not seem like much, but a Prothean is standing on the Citadel, alive. That's a victory in itself. Perhaps. When things were at their darkest, we used to tell stories, imagining the wonders of this place. The seat of our empire, the power to sway worlds, the galaxy belonged to us. Nowadays, a lot of races have embassies here. It's true, then. You share power with the rest? It's not perfect, but it's kept the peace. Yeah. Most of the time. Yeah. Pardon me. This one has been listening. This one suspects you are a Prothean. I remember your kind when you were still minnows in the ocean. This one is unworthy. This one has seen the face of an enkindler. They consider your kind to be their gods. A pity we did not teach them to speak better. You're really a Prothean? I am. But... If you lost the last war, what hope do we have? For many. There may be no hope. The Reapers killed trillions in my cycle. Uh, the odds of being among the living are remote. Uh, I don't think that's gonna work. But you are still alive now. That alone is a miracle. And you still have the power to fight. My people knew your kind when you were young. Torian, Asari, Hana. There was potential in all of you. Now you must seize that potential and become the weapon you are meant to be. The weapon that tells the Reapers we are not machines. We are alive and we will fight back. Thank you. That meant a lot. Commander Shepard, it must be an honor to have a Prothean fighting alongside yeah. you. He's starting to learn his way around. Javik is one of the best soldiers I've ever seen. Yeah. The Commander is a capable warrior as well, for a human. Who once lived in caves. <laughs> Thank you, Commander. I've enjoyed my time here, walking among the young. I will see you back on the normal. He had to stop himself from saying primitives. <laughs> walking among the prim primitives. <sighs> I don't like a lot of what he says and does, but I respect him. That might be better. Tomorrow. I hoped you'd come. I won't remain here much longer. <laughs> what are you doing on the Citadel, Samara? I suppose I came to say goodbye. Faler is safe. And Rila 
is at rest. I felt the need to speak to you before heading to battle. I want you to know there is no one else I'd rather see leading us in our last hours. These aren't our last hours. I'm fighting oh, this not. war to win it. No doubt. But you can't deny that the galaxy will be forever changed once it ends. No. Even I can predict how. A little humbling. But perhaps that's a good thing. Yeah. I ain't fighting. I ain't fighting to lose. I'm fighting to kick the gap. To kick the Reapers to end back into hell. Will Falaire be alright in the monastery? Or what's left of it? We spoke for some time. It won't be easy. But if there is a way to survive, Falaire will find it. Good. I'm glad. It was. Good to see her again. Perhaps it's unseemly for a Justicar to dwell so much on her family. I'm just happy things worked out. I was fortunate that Falaire saw things so clearly. And it would have turned out quite differently without your intervention. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. I ain't allowing you to get rid of one of the galaxy's most powerful beings. Most powerful warriors. What are the other Justicars doing for the war? Most have made it home. They will attempt to hold Thessia. With the odds we face, it's possible our order will no longer exist after this war. Wait, what? There's that few of you? Our numbers were never great. We must prepare to sacrifice ourselves. If that is what's required. Was being a Justicar worth it if that's how it all ends? Just... The Justicars were formed to bring order to a world that laughs at the notion. The role is solitary. Its demands are lonely and uncompromising, often to the point of pain. But... Following the code left me with no regrets. Take that for what you will. Okay. You know... I never asked you if your code has anything useful on fighting Reapers. <laughs> Treat them as any other enemy. Show no quarter, mercy, or weakness. <laughs> the only difference is the scale of our foe. The code is too strict to account for such small discrepancies. Small. <laughs> is that how you see it, too? You yourself killed a Reaper on the Citadel, and then another on Tachanka. I can only follow such bravery. Um, if you talk to her after a certain point, you'll kill a third reaper. And, uh, that will change, this line will change. Um. Uh, uh, fuck, I can't remember the actual line, but, uh. She almost teasingly questions you about asking her that. Considering that you just killed your third Reaper. <laughs> oh well. Good luck out there, Samara. You as well. I don't know if you believe in such things. But Goddess go with you, Shepard. We'll both be tested in fire soon enough. Yeah, we will. Okay, there we go. So uh Screwed up some stuff. Oh, I didn't, but some things had to had I had to uh, step away. Uh, do I have anything else? <sighs> do I have anything else? Uh, find the right... I could never... This is part of a mod and I can never figure this one out. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, do that.
There we go. That's what I need to do. Hades Nexus. Okay. Let's just go turn this one in and then we will head back to the citadel and I mean not head back to the Normandy yeah, this is the afterlife I recovered some texts from a library in Reaper-controlled space. I can have them waiting for you at Bay D24 if that would help. Really? Well, damn. Couldn't hurt. Thank you. Maybe those texts will help you so you remember how to fight again. I can only hope. So say the... Uh, sorry, I'm better at commando work nowadays. That's gonna be it. That's probably gonna be it for now. Uh, thank y'all all so much for uh, watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Comment, not comment. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.